Hi everybody, my name is Kim, aka Purse Trippin'. I resale handbags, wallets of all names, sizes, colors, textures, you name it, I usually have it. Um, I just wanna say before I get started that all of my sales are final. Please ask all questions before purchasing because there are no exchanges, no returns, no exceptions. I ship US only and I accept PayPal only. All the bags are listed in the description box below along with how to pay. So on that note, we are going to go ahead and get started on the bags that I have coming up for sale. <clears throat> First, I have this adorable new condition Brighton bucket bag. And it's in an ivory, really pretty ivory smooth leather with navy blue trim and silver hardware. It has, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> good morning, ladies. It has the prettiest silver hardware on it. Um, it's just an adorable bucket bag. And just love this purse so much. So you just uncinch it here. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to today's purse sale, you guys. I've got some cuties again. Glad you guys are hopping in. So the inside has a zipper pocket. Let's make that two zipper pockets and two open pockets. There's your Brighton Creed. Isn't it a cutie patootie, you guys? And you can fit lots and lots of things in this little guy here. And it is adjustable strap, so you can use it as a crossbody. Okay, so this is an ivory, navy blue leather, Brighton, smaller uh, bucket bag. Okay, so that's bag number one I'm showing you for today. Oh, that can wipe right off right there. That's not going to be a problem. It's just a little something that's on there. It's on like every single bag. I thrift for some reason. Not exactly sure why. Um, anybody in for a gorgeous Kate Spade? Um, a super, super pretty suede Kate Spade with patent leather handles. It does have a little bit of wear right there where the buckles meet the leather. Other than that, um, it's just got like a couple little marks on it because it is suede. But look at the beauty of this bag. It's got cinch ties on each end. Uh, let's see, it's Kate Spade embossed on the pocket right here. Okay, so this is a really large, actually, this full size of the front of the bag, almost front pocket. And then the inside is um let's see one two open pockets and your your zipper pocket is that a white gucci behind you sorry just hopped on so if sorry if so said they weren't for sale i missed it yes that is a white gucci it's an authentic gucci and um yeah it's for sale okay so there's your kate spade emblem and it's got a magnetic snap closure no I'm sorry it does not have a magnetic snap closure the closures are these adorable little cinch cinch sides come in here buddy I'm right here okay he's just gonna lay outside the door so patent leather trim red and if this one doesn't sell this is another one I'm keeping um, I really really love this bag so comfortable on love the size very pretty large kate spade all right hello to everybody that's here this morning um i will show you the gucci i'll go ahead and i'll list the gucci today below this video um i don't have it listed anywhere meaning my instagram at the moment so i'm gonna go ahead and list this one today so if you're just tuning in and didn't watch yesterday's video, I sent this out to a spa in New York. If you guys remember, this bag was a hot mess when I thrifted it. Um, it was all scuffed. The front was all scuffed. There was just like, it was a mess. And um, I paid $200 to have it re-freshened up and repainted, however they do the dye on the leather. And it turned out gorgeous. So this is a Gucci Brit. Um, and now is in amazing condition. The strap still shows a little bit of wear, which is comes with the territory because it's an older Gucci. Um, and it's fabulous. It's just gorgeous. 
It's got the little um, gold stripe in here. It has the Gucci markings on the hardware. And then, let's see, there's a little, looks like there's a little scratch here on this part of the leather. Right there. It says Gucci here. And then the inside, let me show you the bottom corners. Because you guys, this is final sale. If you purchase this, there's no exchanges, no refunds, no returns, nothing. So make sure if you purchase this, ask every question you have to ask right here, right now. Because it's final sale. All right, so it has this top snap closure. And let me show you. The inside just has one zipper pocket. And then what's very important is the Gucci label. Let's see. So awfully hard to show you guys the label. And then here's the, the number on the back. Let me just tell you what it is in case you're wondering. It is 162240, and then the bottom numbers are 001998. And you can screenshot that if you want to. There we go. Put my hand behind it, you can kind of see it. Okay, so that's the number on it. Um, the inside is in excellent condition. Okay, so if you're interested, this will be listed below. <clears throat> and yeah, just so no, this is a older piece. It's not perfect, but they did the best they could. When I had it rehabbed, I think it looks gorgeous. So this is my Gucci. And I'm just going to stuff it and put it back behind me. Yes, hello, Jan. Hi, Christine. Yes, me too. I, I couldn't... With a bag like this, I just couldn't take it in my own hands to dye it myself or change the color. So I sent it out to a spa and had it professionally done. Oopsie. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mommy didn't mean that to fall on you. Okay. You want to lay down again? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Hold on. I got to give her loves for a second. All right, let's go on to the next. I have this Coach wallet. And it's in like a, it looks like a snake embossed pattern with silver hardware. Little twist lock closure. Here's the inside. Okay, in the back. So this is my coach, and it's a like a uh, a bone and a tote, bone and tote colors. Okay, so that's my coach, and it's a Vaquetta interior. This is not a Fendi, but when I found it yesterday, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" I didn't know what it was. It just like it was like this thing is so stinking cute. Look at this bag, you guys. So it's a Vaquetta leather color, but it's not a Vaquetta leather. So it's got the cute little top handle on it. Look at the crossbody strap. It's amazing. It's got all these little studs on it. And it's got mint green colored trim. Silver chain. Look at all the little details, it's so cute. So you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it on your sh as a shoulder bag or a little handbag. And you just push this little guy here, it unclasps. Thank you, Jan. 
And then here is the inside. And this bag doesn't have a name on it, but I took it anyways because it looks so darn adorable. Love it. Center zip compartment, and it's in new condition. Okay, looks just like the Fendi, but no name. Okay, so I'm going to snap. That's a baby blue, a baby pink, and then you've got all of these studs on the top. Okay, all right, so this is going to be my studded bag. Look at the little detail on the sides. It's really, really cute. And this actually can come off if you want the top handle to come off. Okay. Uh, let's do this Michael Kors crossbody in black with gold tone hardware. Magnetic snap at the top. Okay, excellent condition. Black Michael Kors crossbody. And it does have an adjustable strap. Do I have any questions, you guys? How much did I get those? Okay, next, I have this little Marc Jacobs um, nylon crossbody in blue. It's a nylon leather trim. Yes, as soon as this video is over, they will be listed in the description box. So this is the Marc Jacobs. It's got a navy blue, um, leather adjustable strap. It has a pocket on the back. It's a magnetic snap closure. And then your main compartment. And then there's actually open pockets on this wall over here. And then the zipper flap is also a really large pocket. Silver toned hardware. And it also has the little Marc Jacobs tag on it. Magnetic snap closure. And there you have that. Okay. Let's do this gorgeous piece. This is a B. Mikowski chocolate brown croc embossed leather tote with silver and gold tone hardware. And as you can see, it's a very large genuine leather tote. Isn't it so pretty, you guys? And then the hardware is silver toned and gold toned. So if you like to mix your jewelry, twist lock closure. Oh, let's show you the back first. It's got this really big pocket here. It has a cell phone pocket here. A gorgeous purple satin interior. Brand new condition. So here's the interior. This purple satin is beautiful. And then let's see, there's a quilted pocket with leather lined pockets. Um, it's got the little key lanyard on here. B. Mikowski, another pocket. And then the flap 
is another one of those magic flaps that you open up and it's this whole size of the bag. This is a stunner, you guys. This bag is gorgeous and it's in perfect condition. So if you want this, snag it because I've never, ever, ever seen another B. Mikowski like this. And this is a gorgeous bag. And it's actually, it's not even heavy, you guys. Okay. Another one I'm keeping if it doesn't sell. I'm doing that now. If my stuff doesn't sell, I'm keeping it. I just decided, you know what? Why try to resell it again? If it doesn't go the first time, just keep it. <laughs> Why not, right? Well, let's do this little cutie patootie. This is a brand new. I know some. I know somebody's going to love this one. So cute. It's Steve Madden, and it's crushed velvet in a blush. Um, it's so pretty. It's just adorable. It's got the front pocket with the Steve Madden emblem on it, a little Steve Madden charm hanging on it. It's got a cute little knot at the top. Gold tone hardware, zipper top, extremely lightweight. Ooh, got it itchy. Um, black Steve Madden lining with open pockets and a zipper pocket. And I think this is so adorable. What do you guys think of this one? Do you like this one or not so much? I love it. Another one I picked up if it doesn't sell. You know what? This is ridiculous. Now my closet is going to be all tons and tons of bags. It's a slouchy hobo. Perfect for weekend, for every day for me. This would be an everyday bag for me. But this little knot is just so cute. Okay, so that's Steve Madden. Um, this is really pretty. This is a Bill Blass. Um, this one's another really, really pretty bag. So it's um, all black leather with antique brass trim. Bill Blass tote. Magnetic snap closure. Let me get this for you. In gorgeous condition. It's got the little ruffle on the front. It's got the little Bill Blast logo on the brass hardware. Little ruffle around each edge with Bill Blast rivets. Okay, here is the bottom. I don't know. I don't know the age of this bag at all. Um, the inside is a gorgeous emerald green satin. It's got the leather tassel pull on the center zipper. All kinds of pockets over here. And then pockets over here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, this is my first Bill Blast I've ever thrifted. So I'm unable to tell you the age of it. All I can tell you is the leather on it is amazing. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous purse. Tote style, and it's definitely large. Okay. So that's my Bill Blast. Handles are in perfect condition. Okay. Alrighty. Now I have another vintage bag in embossed leather. And this is like a brick, maybe a brick color, brick red, I would say. The inside is just plain raw leather on the opposite side. And here's the embossed detail on the front. OK. 
Okay, and it does have a crossbody adjustment. So this is my vintage embossed crossbody bag in a, a brick leather, brick colored leather. Isn't it pretty? I think it's really pretty. Um, next, I've got this little Radley London tote style bag in black leather. It's got the cute little Radley charm on it with the little dog and the leaves. Leaves, leaves, leaves. This is a Radley back here. It's in excellent condition. This is a phone pocket. And then the inside looks like this. Okay. Super pretty. So if you're a no hardware kind of gal, this is a really nice purse. Very soft. Um, very soft leather, very little pebbles, medium size for sure. Okay, so that's my Radley. And then I have another fossil. This is a golden color, great for fall if you like to match your bags to your um, seasons. It's got the little fossil card with it. And I sold my black one like this. I think I sold my brown one like, like this. It's got lots of little additional pockets on it. Um, it's got the little key, fossil key. It's the interior. And then it also has a nice large pocket on the back. And it is silver, silver hardware. Yeah, I love Radley London myself. Love it, love it. Okay, so if you're interested in the fossil, gold fossil crossbody, there you go. And then uh, I wanted to grab a guess. I have a, um, a guess set. I knew I would come across the wallet eventually, so I really wanted to wait until I could find a set for this, and I did. I finally found the matching wallet. So we have this guest tote in black. Love the little rhinestone flower charm. This is in brand new condition. Um, the hardware is silver. It's got a main zipper compartment, and then it has the two extra pockets. Yeah, it's cute. It's very cute. Okay, and then, so that's what that looks like, and this is definitely a larger bag as well. And then this is the wristlet wallet. And it has two zipper compartments and the wristlet strap. One side opens up like this. And there's a zipper compartment here. Okay, and then the back one opens to an area like this. So I'm only selling this as a set. I won't be separating them if you're interested. And it just zips around. And then you also get um, this little pocket on the front as well. And then 
the wristlet strap. Yeah, 15 would definitely be on this one. Actually, I'm trying to think if it would even be more than that. It'd be 50, yeah, it'd be 15 shipping, shipping because it would have to go in the priority box instead of the envelope. So if you like this set, then you will have to get it quick because I like it too. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, do I have any questions, you guys? Any questions at all? Not if my life depended on it, Irene. <laughs> That's my purse. I'm sorry. I just had it set in there because I had to get my glasses and my phone out of it. Any more questions, you guys? Thank you. Okay, I don't see any questions coming through. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go then. I'm going to get all of this listed for you. Hope you guys have a really, really great day. I do have some items available on yesterday's video as well if you want. Um, white to... Oh, this one is just a little... Um, this one is a little uh, canvas, canvas tote. It's by um, Society6. Little canvas tote. I love my purse too. I love my purse. I'll show it to you guys when I'm all done. So it's just a, a little canvas tote to carry whatever you like in with a little rainbow on it. Nice long strap drop, strap drop. Okay, I'll show you my, um, I guess, if you guys want to see it. This is mine. This is what I'm using. I've been using it for a little bit. Um, this is leather and hair on hide bucket bag. My baby, one of my babies. Love my purse. You guys know I'm a hair on hide fanatic. Then the inside is really cute. It's got um, blue and white arrows on the inside. So if you see me out and about, you'll probably see me toting this around. Pretty, right? Show you it on. It's really big. Carries my entire life. Let's see, let me back here. There you go. Now you guys can see my bucket bag. <laughs> yeah, I wish, Amanda. <laughs> no, I didn't thrift it. I wish I could say I did, but that um, is not a thrift purchase. That's a definitely a put my money in an envelope for six months to buy purse. <laughs> it's huge. Jen Jenny, it's a Jenny bag. It's a total Jenny bag. Okay. Thank you, Nanny. I appreciate that. Do you guys have any other questions or anything? Let me know. Is it heavy? Nope. It doesn't even weigh a pound with the stuff out of it. All right, you guys. I'm going to get going. So I will... Yeah. If, I, if there's a bag I really, really want, I knew, I, I know, I knew for a long time that I an HCC bucket bag. So um, what I do is I take a certain amount of money every 
like every week or every bi biweekly, I stick it in a envelope, have enough cash saved up, then I buy it. I never ever charge anything, anything. All right, you guys, see you, uh, what's tomorrow? Friday, yeah, I'll see you on tomorrow's video. So be sure and check below this video after it's loaded because all of this stuff, not this, but everything I showed you will be listed. Bye guys.